very important uh, meeting for the hospital authority and the citizens of, of Valdosta and Lyons County. And we would certainly like to thank the commissioners and the chairman, uh, our bond attorneys, uh, 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 manager uh, Pritchard and, and all of his staff for all of the hard work that you put into this effort over the last six months. Uh, what it really means to, to the hospital is uh, refinancing of 139 million dollars of, of bond uh, debt that we have, uh, paying down about 55 million dollars of debt uh, with a savings of almost 29 million dollars and uh, a realized uh, savings of almost five million dollars a year. So we really appreciate the, the efforts of, of, of the commission. I would like to thank the, uh, the authority members for all of their, their work that they've put into this and uh, we appreciate you. Uh, but, but I do want to make mention, uh, we would not be in this position if it had not been for the strong leadership of our finance committee. Uh, Mr. Langdell was chairman of our finance committee, and it was because of, of, of their saving strategies and investment strategies that we find ourselves in this position to pay down this $55 million of, of, of debt. So Mr. Langdell, to you and your committee, thank you for all your hard work because we would not be here where we are today if it had not been for your leadership and for, and for your community. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we try not to give him too many kudos because he goes to the table. But, but, but he has done a, a great job and, and uh, uh, certainly to be commended. So we, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, at this time, I'd like to turn uh, the meeting over to uh, council, uh, Ms. Madison. Thank you, Chairman Allen. Um, it's my pleasure. Jim Woodward is here. He is our bond counsel for the authority. And what we're entertaining today is a supplemental resolution of the authority to approve the refinancing of the bonds for the savings that you mentioned. So I'm going to turn it over to Jim. And then Gabe Egan is here as well from Raymond James. And so he'll be able to give us some specifics. Jim. Good night. Jim Woodward again. Great to Woodward. I was the bond counsel for this transaction. And uh, yesterday was a great day, and first of all, uh, these are the ones you remember, and so I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this transaction, work with you guys. Uh, it's been a very smooth uh, transaction for us, and I appreciate all the work of, of the team at the hospital and the county as well. Um, they did a wonderful job, and it was a lot of work uh, to get to this point, and uh, you know, preparing the offering documents and all the rest of the documents. And so uh, without their help, we wouldn't have been able to get to the market on, on that on yesterday. And, and, uh, we nailed it just correctly. Uh, today's like today, and also uh, uh, upset that I'm the lawyer, so I, I talk about the boring <laughs> stuff. And so uh, the good stuff and the exciting stuff is by Raymond James and Gabe and Bucky. And so I'm going to turn it over to Gabe and walk through the numbers and, and what happened yesterday, and we'll come back. I'll go through the uh, resolution uh, that will be approved today uh, based off of that information that Gabe talks about. I hope that's all for Gabe. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, uh, members of the hospital authority and members of Lowndes County. Uh, just, uh, you know, myself and, and Bucky Kimsey uh, with Raymond James is here as well. We, we are both just honored to be part of this process and this great partnership between the hospital authority and county. Um, this has probably been one of the deals I think we're most proud of because it's achieved so much beyond just a tremendous level of savings, you know, a $29.3 million net present value. But we, from, from, from the beginning of get, getting started with this, uh, we had goals beyond that uh, to give the hospital authority some covenant relief and the savings are wonderful but uh, you know you know allowing the, the, the hospital authority and both the county to be a more stable position going forward and compliance with covenants it's been I think a tremendous effort because the, the legal team too you know, we, we, we really got in the weeds with structure and the new master and nature and you know proud of the product we put in place and Jim mentioned the official statement about a 500 page document. So, if anybody wants some nighttime reading, you know, read, read through this the county and the hospital authority disclosure. You know, you know Julie and Grant in the hospital, and then you know, the county, Stephanie and Joe, and the county team worked really hard to get that together and, and go through the bond rating process. And I think that was another thing that I was just super pleased and proud of the way it turned out. Um, Moody's actually, with uh, this financing con consideration, uh, move the outlook from uh, a double A2 with a negative outlook to stable. So that was a good indication of that they were, I thought this was a good plan and right, right, uh, the right things were happening. And, and you know, S&P also reaffirmed their double A minus rating with a stable outlook. So uh, 
uh, all the work that went into this and the ratings uh, got us in good position to, to, to go to market this week. And uh, uh, all the, the folks in the Raymond James team worked hard to pre-market your deal. And we just, you know, honestly, a lot of this, I think, was luck. You know, Grant and I have been talking a lot. I think we probably would have taken the uh, just under $20 million if we had been able to just lock it in earlier. But, but we just really hit very close to the absolute bottom of the market here and I can't think of a refunding that I've done uh, with, with as much net present value savings. So that just kind of leads us into the deal itself. Um, we, we basically, this was two deals in one. We had a tax exempt piece uh, of about 40, uh, $42.6 million um, and the interest rate was a little bit lower on that one, uh, about uh, 2.58 all inclusive cost on that and then the taxable piece was at a 3.21, so the average interest rate blended together was about 3.02% all-inclusive on that. So uh, uh, the end result, um, as, as we mentioned, you know, this was a refinance, uh, but, but also a couple things. We, we use this as an opportunity. The hospital had a tremendously strong balance sheet, and uh, we were also able to, one of the covenants we removed was the debt service reserve fund, so we were able to take uh, You've seen the numbers ahead of time, but some monies from existing sinking funds and another uh, approximately $37 million of the hospital's um, investments that I think, think uh, got, gets a pretty good realized gains on those as well, but we contributed that to reduce debt. Uh, so we, really when you look at the overall savings, you're about $5.2 million per year. Uh, the, the total is actually $116 million, but that's a little bit Know, it's your own money that went towards that, but when you look at the net present value factor and out what you contributed, we're at $29.312 million in, in true today's value savings, uh, the, the cut cut dry numbers. So, you know, tremendous success, success on the pricing. Uh, we, we, you know, it's always a, a, a balancing effort of, you know, uh, uh, the right level. We want, we, we want the bonds to be sold at, at rates that, you know, the lowest rate possible, but we, we want to make sure that we have a good balance of business versus that. So we actually were oversubscribed on the tax exempt piece, the 42 million. I think we had roughly 240 million in orders. So we were able to do some pretty good price adjustments on that, about seven basis points on the long bond to pass those savings along to, to, to you because uh, we, we thought there was some room to drop some investors off of that. We were the, the taxable piece, the 96 million roughly taxable bonds, we had um, a, a little bit of wood to try. I think we underwrote about 13 million of those that we had unsold, but we're, so we're doing as an underwriter is making it a firm deal. So uh, you uh, approve the, the supplemental bond resolution of the bond purchase agreement. These numbers that we're, we're telling you will be, will be firm and final and we'll, we'll, we'll work towards closing on, uh, I think it's Wednesday, uh, August 28th. Um, the bonds will have a 10-year par call, so if uh, you know, if rates go down 10 years from now, you'll have the chance to refinance again. Um, and it's, uh, it's it's really, well, I think that's the highlights here, but just a great finance to be a part of. And again, Bucky and I just are really appreciative to have a chance to work with you all here. Any, any questions? Okay. Uh, no questions for Gabe. Uh, what we're doing today is this is a supplemental uh, certificate or bond resolution. And what this does, this uh, supplements the resolution that was approved uh, by the hospital authority board on July 17th. And uh, what that, you know, original meeting we had last uh, last month was to sit down and authorize you know, our team to prepare all the documents uh, and go out to the market, which is what we did today. And, and what this supplemental resolution does uh, primarily is it locks in the rates. And so everything that Gabe just mentioned, going through the terms, the savings, the interest rates for these bonds, um, it, it attaches to you as an exhibit all those terms that you'll approve. And then once they're approved, uh, you know, again, they'll be locked in from this point forward, going forward. So even though we're closing on the 28th of August, uh, they're locked in until that date, and we're closing based on those. So there's no more, you know, uh, no more looking at T-bill rates or anything else for the next uh, few weeks. And so. Uh, uh, but also this resolution, it, you know, it, again, it approves the terms. It also approves uh, a certificate purchase agreement or bond purchase agreement. And basically, that's the agreement between the authority of the county uh, and Raymond James, where you uh, agree to sell the bonds to uh, the underwriter, uh, Raymond James, at those rates. They agree to buy everything from you, and that's what Gabe was mentioning. Uh, so they have to buy all the bonds at those rates. And whether they can sell them or not, they're buying them at those rates. And so that's a hard sale on the 28th. And then they'll uh, turn around and, and, and sell them out to the marketplace that they created yesterday. Uh, we also attached the uh, uh, certificate indenture, which was also approved in form 
at the last meeting, but basically I, I attached the full form of that with all the terms in there uh, that you know Dave mentioned. So all the interest rates are built into that document. So I attach it again just because that, has all the final numbers in there. Uh, it also attaches the uh, the final uh, version of the interim uh, contract between the authority and the county. Again, a form of that was approved um, at the last meeting. This is the final version of it uh, with all the final terms built in. And again, that contract is, is what helps the authority uh, get the rating that it had in the marketplace. And it's what we had structured uh, identical to what we had you know, for the previous bond years. Nothing changes uh, from previous deal or what we discussed at the last meeting uh, or, or you know, in through today. It's the exact same contract. It's just a new version with new, uh, new numbers in there at the lower, lower amounts. Based on these terms, uh, and then also it approves a continuing disclosure agreement uh, going forward uh, for the uh, uh, these bonds will be traded in the open market for the next uh, uh, several years, um, and that, that basically is an ongoing obligation to report certain information about the hospital the county as well. Have one uh, party to it, um, uh, so future buyers of the bonds will, will know certain aspects. Uh, this is something that the hospital and the county are already doing, and so it's nothing new. This is something that SEC requires going forward. Uh, but that's the uh, that's everything. And so uh, on the hospital side, side will just be one resolution. Uh, the motion will be uh, a motion to approve the supplemental certificate resolution as presented, and that covers everything else I've dis uh, discussed. Everything else is part of that resolution. So that's the only motion that will be made uh, today. So if you want to move forward, uh, that's that's what we need to do. You know, one additional thing I want to know when you're talking about the contract that I failed to mention, you know, two, two important things just, you know, we discussed it earlier, but the final maturity is not being extended to get these savings, you know, we're, we're keeping it the same, and the county is not backing any additional new debt. The par amount of this new issue is the exact amount that's outstanding right now, so I just wanted to be clear on that. Okay. And this, uh, since we do have two meetings uh, going on, I suggest it works for, for uh, both of you. We'll go ahead and have the uh, hospital authority approve their resolution, and then I'll, I'll move over to the two county resolutions, and we'll, I'll discuss those separately. Grant, just, just to be clear now, after this uh, resolution has been approved, we don't have to go back to Moody's or to SME? That is correct. We will still disclose information, but uh, with the county backing, we will not be subject to individual rating. We just do like a, a little bit more on that question too. You know, um, when, when we had the 2007 bond issue, you know, before we did this refunding, the 07 bonds were based on the hospital loans credit rating. So it's a separate type credit analysis. The 2011 bonds and this issue, the primary security is the county intergovernmental contract. So Moody's and S&P will still review, but the credit stuff they're looking for is a little bit different. So you're, you're correct; it will, will definitely be less uh, less in the weeds. So. Uh, you, you've heard the recommendation for the bond resolution from, uh, from council. Uh, do we have a motion to approve? So I move. Uh, we have a motion uh, to approve by Mr. Blaine. Do we have a second? Second. By Mr. Copeland. All in favor? Aye. 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 At this time, I, I'll call the, the special meeting, call the meeting to order the Lambs County Board of Commissioners, um, and I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Walter Elliott, County Attorney, uh, for some information. Right, I, I will speak very briefly, uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll give Mr. Wilbur an opportunity to, to elaborate. But there are two uh, items before you, and the first is a supplemental resolution of the Board of Commissioners, and there are four pieces to it. First, it approves the final version of the intergovernmental contract. Second, it approves the certificate purchase agreement. Third, it approves the continuing disclosure agreement. And fourth, it acknowledges receipt of the hospital authority's original resolution and the supplemental resolution of the hospital authority, which they just approved. Um, and the second item is what we refer to as the TEFRA resolution. Now, the way chairman and we have discussed handling this is um, Mr. Woodward will elaborate on the first item and then uh, have a, a motion to vote on that and then after you've uh, uh, voted on that motion then he will elaborate on the second, second item. Okay. Uh, 
Thank you very much, Mr. Walter. All right, so, uh, so much like the uh, authorities' uh, resolution, uh, the Board of Commissioners approved uh, an initial resolution on July 23rd, authorizing the team to go forward with issuing the bonds and preparing all the documents. Uh, this is a supplemental resolution to that uh, original resolution. And what this does, it, it approves, again, the final terms of the bonds. And so you all authorize us, you know, back in July to go out with certain parameters and look at the market and, and come back and present the final numbers to you. And so really that's what this does. It, it's, it's a, you know, supplementing that original resolution just to approve the final terms that Amy just discussed as well. And as Walter mentioned, it does attach the, um, you know, basically certain documents um, that go on contract. Uh, you know, um, same one we discussed for the hospital side. And it's just the same contract and form that was approved previously, and the same one that we used in 2011. Nothing new, it just has the new terms in it based on these pricing. Um, it uh, approves the certificate of purchase agreement, again, exact same agreement that the authority is a party to, selling the bonds for Amy James. Uh, continuing disclosure agreement, same thing, that's the continuing obligation to report information to the SEC that you already have. And then it attaches the uh, resolution, again, that has all the final terms, and so that's where you approve the final terms. And so, uh, so based off of that, you know, it'll be the same, same similar motion. It'll be a motion to approve the supplemental resolution uh, of the county as presented. Okay, thank you, Mr. Woodard. Uh, Mr. Jenny, questions for Mr. Woodard? If there are none, then I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, with great excitement, I move that we adopt the approve and authorize the chairman to sign the supplemental resolution of the board of commissioners as presented. Okay, thank you. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. aye. Uh, any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. Mr. Elliott. Uh, Mr. Wood will we'll, we'll, uh, we'll elaborate on the capital resolution. Okay. So, so you know, the first resolution uh, dealt with the bond transaction and all the terms. The TEFRA resolution uh, is something that we do for certain transactions. Um, it's an IRS requirement. Uh, but basically, TEFRA is a, is a tax act. It's from 1982. Um, and one of the requirements is for uh, 501c3 nonprofit bonds. And, um, and this authority is technically its own 501c3, but also there's a chance in the future and nothing determined. But in case we want to keep this open, a lot of hospitals uh, sometimes use a 501c3 structure or we'll drop everything down to a 501c3. So every time we do a bond transaction for a governmental hospital authority like we have here, we always do a TEFRA resolution just to cover all the IRS rules in case we want to have the options down the road to switch it to a, a different type of bond. You know, won't change the terms, won't change the thing. It's just an IRS determination. Uh, but the TEFRA uh, rules require, in connection with doing a, a 501c3 private activity bond, um, is you have a TEFRA hearing, which basically uh, is an additional step that governments you know, do not have to do, where you have a hearing uh, posted in the local paper. Um, anyone from the public can show up and ask questions. Uh, about the project. Um, this occurred. Uh, Grant was the uh, virus, was our hearing officer. This occurred on July 30th. Uh, no one was present, so no questions were asked. Uh, and then, so that's so after that hearing, uh, he signed a certificate certifying that and provided the Board of Commissioners a letter, um, which is attached to the agenda item, uh, saying we've you know, done the temporary hearing and uh, we would like to submit to, to the county um, um, Board of Commissioners uh, uh, the request to approve the transaction. And that's the step that the IRS requires is that uh, for private activity bonds, non-governmental bonds, uh, they want to have some oversight of the local government um, saying um, this is something we want to do. Uh, and so, so that's just the IRS requirement. So this is basically saying, you know, uh, you know uh, the, the board of commissioners is okay for this to be a 501c3 bond, you know, the, the you know, tax certificate uh, change down the road just in case they went that route. So that's all that is. Thank you, sir. Any questions? Okay, hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the TEFRA resolution. Okay, we have a motion to approve the TEFRA resolution. We have a second. Second. We have a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I also would like to take a moment, um, Chairman Allen, um, thank everyone that had worked through this process when uh, the, the uh, uh, hospital authority was called to order. You know, uh, I would have to say that this is this has been a very well, very professional through this entire process, and everybody has worked extremely hard on trying to get this this uh, taken care of. Uh, you're all to be commended. Um, 
you know, as, as he said, from Lowndes County staff, uh, hospital staff, the attorneys, um, uh, Gabe and Bucky, everybody that's been involved in this process uh, has been extremely professional and very good. And, you know, from, from an elected official, a lot of times as we move through our day-to-day -day activity of things we try to do, we try to look for opportunities that are win-win opportunities. This is truly a win-win opportunity. It's a win for the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners, and it's a win for uh, the Hospital Authority in South Georgia Medical Center. Uh, again, I commend the Hospital Authority for your efforts in working in it, and commissioners, I also commend you uh, for your hard work and efforts in working together with the Hospital Authority uh, to make this happen. It's just not every day that you're gonna be able to save uh, $29 million. But it's awesome, it's a great day. Okay, is there any other business? Entertain a motion to adjourn the commission. We have a motion to adjourn. To adjourn. Thank y'all. And uh, I'll give y'all some censures. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with that said, is, is there anything further from the hospital authority? Uh, hearing none, uh, we have a motion to adjourn. I have a motion by Ms. Lady, the other second by Ms. Powell. All in favor? Thank you.